How are you doing tonight, madam? You had any good talks? Good. Uh, no. Oh, you got a good webcam. Thank you. Yeah. So, well, how was your 2023? Shit. <laughs> Some real shit. I ain't even gonna lie. But I did a lot of accomplishments. Oh, who's that? My assistant. Your assistant? Oh, what do you do? <laughs> yeah. You run a business? Yeah. What's the business? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that person made, in the back. No, I made toothpicks. You make toothpicks? How, um, is there really a demand for toothpicks? Not really, but it's more sustainable ones. Is that, is that bringing in a decent profit for you? Should I have an assistant? Hell yeah. What? I don't know how much she gets paid. You could be paid her in anything. There's people who have Twitch mods that make a ton of money, but the Twitch mods don't make anything. No, nah, she she get a minimum. She definitely get a minimum. Hmm. Uh, how long you been doing that? Uh, probably about a year and a half now. What's the two picks called? It's called My Ass Up Your Finger. You should go look it up. It's on our website too. Are you trolling or are you, what's the going on with that? See, I thought you were being real for a second. Because I was about to, I was really going to go deep into this and find out how broke you were because I'm like, two picks ain't it. No, that's my sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm actually an, uh, a healthcare worker. I'm in school right now. Oh, okay. And I see you got a mic and everything. What else do you do? Uh, Sometimes I'll stream. I'm kind of inconsistent because like going back to school, but... I mean, streaming is tough. It takes a lot of sleep. I streamed and went to college as well, but I, st I still stream every night. But it's a, it's a tough thing to do. Yeah, it's different. Like I'm literally there all day because I'm doing clinicals right now, so it's kind of with between studying, actually sleeping, and then like being there for like more than ten hours. It's kind of yeah. It's that sleeping part right there. I don't oh, sleep. Mom. I, just, I need to. That shit, I'll be falling asleep. Mm -mm. If I don't, mm -mm. how's your grades? All my grades are good. Um, right now, my last semester, I got all B's, and then we're going back on Wednesday. So we're gonna see. And that your university you go to? No, this is a. It's just a fashion statement. Femo. That's a fashion statement. Where? Uh, it's at uh too cute. At too cute, mm -hmm. like uh, no, I'm saying like who who considered that a fashion statement? That's what I'm saying. Well, shit, talk to too cute. That's the store that's selling them. It, is that just a regular hoodie that you got folded up? No, it's an actual like. Oh, I okay. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Does it keep you warm, or you? It actually, kind of does. I don't know, and but not like the bottom half, but like my arms, yeah. And there's a hoodie on there? No, I have, it's like a crop top. It's not a hoodie in the back? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're having an actual conversation? You got a nice little presentation set up? See, so, yeah, what I can't stand is how some people get on here. Though, you know, they'll normally comment on my outfit, which is fine, but I'll, I'll normally say, why you have it, why you have your camera at the ceiling, or why you wearing a bonnet? It's like, this is still real life. I don't get it. I don't know why people get on here. It's like, why would you present yourself at the worst? But some people get on here and they look quite nice. Um, I don't know. I feel like some people take it too serious and then some people take it way unserious. So, I mean, it just depends, like, who you really are as a person. If you want to present yourself that way, I don't, I don't care. Well, Shit, I got a whole face mask on my face. You can't even see that, John. No, I get junk. No, I, I can't. May I ask when you said people take it too serious, what do you mean? Like, they'll be, like, thinking, like, it's an actual, like, dating site. Oh, that's more the monkey app. Mmm, monkey's a whole bunch of dick, just like this. Oh, really? I don't really come across too many. Monkey app, you actually have to page if you want to get a specific gender, though. That's why you say you can do more dating on that app, because you can just get just girls or just guys. It costs you yeah. an arm and a leg, but... It's a whole bunch of dudes. Like, I barely see any girls on there. Maybe, like, five a night, and I'll be scrolling for a few hours. A few hours? 
Oh, you? What do you mean you scrolling? Like, like him clicking the button. Oh, oh, okay. Like scrolling through people. Oh, I just get on here to have conversations like this. Shit. Yeah. Mainly, obviously, it sounds weird when I say it, but I talk to young men. But that's because I've worked with young men. My, you know, I do men retreats and stuff oh. like that in my real life. You know. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they do like uh, workshops with them. That's yeah. That's nice. Yeah, we got enough. Shit, we need it now more than ever. Shoot. Yeah, because you young women are just fucking everything up. Okay, let's not put the blame on us. It's a it's a fifty fifty here. It's a fifty fifty. Okay. No, it's more y'all than us. Let's be honest with ourselves. Oh well. Mm. I say fifty fifty. If a if a guy right now hops on Tinder, is he gonna get more matches or less matches than a girl? No matter how she looks. I don't know. It depends how good he Girl, looks and how well he presents what, himself. Okay, what did statistics say? I don't know. You tell me. Statistics: eighty percent of the women they get matches. Most men can well, go I mean, weeks without even a single match. You never been on a dating app? No. You ever been in a dating world? Um, not really. I tend to myself. Well, then I could tell you, uh, men don't find dates on those dating apps. Right? Yeah. But why do you think that is? You think that's the men's fault? No, it's just preference. Is it? What's the preference? Preference of that specific woman. You see, that's the problem right there. You get more average women thinking that they're tens for some odd reason, and then thinking every guy who's average looking as well, he's a one. So you get a ton of women who just skip guys just because they think they're a 10. You know how many women I've gotten on here and, and literally argue with me when I'm like, I mean, you're a 6. They will, I got cursed out and everything because they told me they were a 10. And I said, if you're a 10, you be in vogue. 10s don't just walk around. 10s get taken well, off the I, streets and model. Like you can't just be I, a 10 because you believe it. I feel like it's a, it's preference. It's preference. Whatever, you could go around, ask a whole bunch of men, oh, how they think that you look. And they'll say a whole bunch of different numbers. But you can get the, like, the median of it. Yeah, for sure. You can get, like, the add it all up, divide by how many are there, and then get the average. Women yeah, don't do sure. that. That's the problem. No. That's what I'm saying. No man is really going to tell you the truth of your rating. I'm going to just tell you that. Because most men, their objective is to do one fucking thing and one fucking thing only. It's fucking... Women are doing that at a higher rate now, though. The women are fucking yeah. just as much these days. Shit, I don't believe them either. Because yeah. it's 50-50. One group, like, we can't just have, it's an evolution of things. You have a group of guys, they're going to go out, do whatever, they want to cheat on their wives, whatever, cool. We have women who want to cheat on their husbands, yeah, cool. But you have the ratio that it's going to happen more because another group is doing it and it's affecting both. It's like a level. If somebody's doing it here, we got to do it here because we're having less men who's not wanting to be like that provider or wanting to be that uh, that standard of the household to provider. So they don't want to do that. Shoot, we city girls. We out here. We doing this. Fuck my baby daddy. Shit. So, it goes both ways. Once you read, you say you keep saying it goes both ways. If you read the statistics, they're right now 90% of women are going after 10% of men. And those are the men who make top 10% top ten percent money, which is about one hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000. Yeah. Shoot, I would too. Thank you. That's the problem. What, yeah, are men, because, what, are, what are men supposed to do about that? There's no way every man's going to be able to make $250,000. i am not saying that. But at least being able to be comfortable and supporting yourself. Because me, I've had those relationships where I was the main supporter, where I was doing the most. And I was actually the one wanting the relationship. But the dude, he just wanted money and to run away with it. He didn't really want a relationship with me. But the average woman makes less than the average man. So that's not that your your yours is more anecdotal. Than what happens with I mean, most people. That, that could go back to anything. That could go back to because a lot of men's jobs, there are a lot of harder jobs that you could do. I mean, that could just go back to um, 
oil workers, uh, railroad workers, um, people who work as electricians, uh, a whole bunch. Well, yeah, I, I, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is though, men are making more than the average woman, but these women are still going for the top 10% guys. So it can't just be because. Sure, I haven't met one. Well, Let me know where they are. Well, they're not gonna go for a person like you. They're the top ten percent. They get, they got all the options in the world. No, no, no. I'm not even talking about the ten percent. I'm talking about like the the more just like midline middle class. Well, you say I'm cool you, with that. you just say you don't do anything. You just stick to yourself. They can't find you if you don't put yourself out there. Where the fuck you want me to go? Cause I'd be at home, school, or work. If you want a man, what you? That's about it. If you want a man? What you gonna you have to do? To you want me to go to a five-star restaurant, sit my ass down, serve myself, and I'm going to find a businessman. No, you're not. I'm saying you should, you, you can just go find average guys around. Around where? Because I'm, I'm not in a city where it's like you can find average at all. It's I'm talking like low income, got three baby mamas. Like, it's terrible. Where are these quality men at that you're, you're talking about? Every guy in your city has three baby mamas. Either a baby mama or they got baby mama issues or they got kids or they have some financial situation going on that I've met. So I'm asking you, where do I find these men that if, you, you... If that's saying? the only men you're attracting, then you may need to change something yourself. Maybe you should start going to different places. Because mm-hmm. they're out there. So where would I go? I don't know where you live. I live in Chicago, Illinois. I live in. No, there's plenty. I, I know plenty of good men in Chicago. You should be fine. It's it's limitless. I'm glad that you have so much positivity of me finding something, but like. It's, well, it it's depends. On, well, what are you looking for? I'm just looking for something. Honestly, to be completely honest, I'm not really like searching, searching. Exactly. But like every time I have searched, it hasn't been good. So you're attracting a certain type of man. I guess I don't. I I guess if they're attracted to what I am, that's crazy. How do you act in person? Like, what's your personality? Are you sassy? Are you got a mouth on you? What? Hey, Ali, do I have a mouth on you? Do I have a mouth on me? Do I like to talk a lot? Talk a lot of shit? No. When I'm on the phone. Not in person, though. No, not in person. So, no, I'm not really mouthy or nothing. So, no guys have ever, or no women have ever said you kind of have an attitude? No. Okay. Are you, what type of man have you been looking for? Does it matter his height, I'm anything like that? At, like, decent job, can hold himself down. Maybe apartment, maybe like thinking about moving out. Maybe oh, I like already got his shit together. Got a car, no kids. Um, decently looking. Don't gotta be ten out of ten. It could be like a, a four or five. I'm cool with that. Okay, so you're you're cool with a four or five, and if he makes fifty thousand dollars a year, you good? That's cool. That's comfy. Cause we add our we add our shit up. We live. How old we, are you? We, we, I'm 20. We making room oh. for improvement. We got room for improvement. You, you got, you got. Four. I'm not. Go ahead. I'm not looking for somebody that's like, as long as you have the ambition to do something better with your life and you're already at that like stable, comfortable spot, I'm totally cool with that because I'm at stable and comfortable. So I want somebody to match my energy and build off of that. Four or five. I'm cool with it. Well, you got four years. So just don't let college let you get a big head. Four years? Oh, you don't know. I got, uh, I graduate. Uh, no, I'm not talking okay. about college. I'm talking about until you're 24. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's 10 more women well, either tend to get married around that age or they tend to fuck up there and they end up with nobody until they're like 30. And it's then, more like three because I'm about to turn 21 in February, so. Three, three when you're in college, years. I'm sure you're going to find some decent men there. As long as you get out of the classroom every now and then. 
You go to you go to university, right? Yeah, but it's not like it's a lot of women in my field. No, I'm not talking about in your field. I'm talking about at the university. You don't go to any events or anything. Fuck no. See, that's the problem. You're gonna have to do it. I don't have time. You better I'm fucking make time. My classes start from nine thirty, and I don't get out till four thirty. That's that, and then I take some time to study, go to the gym. What by the time I get home and actually start some work, it's crazy. Like I'm getting home at like ten, eleven. I'm I don't got time for this. And I want to sleep, and then you, I gotta get up, get doing the same thing. You said you get on the monkey app, and you said you get on here in for a couple hours. You can't spend that time going to events or something. Bro, that's on either breaks or weekends. What Whenever the, I have free time. Yeah, on the weekends. There ain't no events at your school on the weekends at a university? They usually do. Thank you. You need to start going there. Find you get a decent guy. Y'all say, what's up? Ugh, best I'm going to find is like a Q. Or a Alpha. Alpha sign. Mm, maybe. Sure. You said a Q and a, a and a what? You said he's a freak. Hmm? No, you don't need to be looking for that. You're not trying to... Well, he's 20... I'm going to find me a sugar daddy. Fuck it. What? what? <laughs> How much is your sugar daddy going to be making? I don't know. Probably his retirement. Whatever he's been working on. Girl, you better get out on these streets and start putting <laughs> in the work for a man. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, we will we'll see. see. I just don't. I'll definitely. I'll try to go outside. Get out there. Mm. All right then. I appreciate the talk. Mm. Now, if I see you on this app again, you better have gone to something. All right, bet. All right, bet. <laughs> hey, Kirk, chill, bro. Like it ain't that serious. Damn, why you hating on her so hard?